we um, are making steel lighting columns from New Zealand Steel. Somebody importing a lighting column is behold to the shipping lines. We're, we're here, we're ready to make. If it's a bespoke custom item, then we can do that quickly with a fast turnaround. We're here at CSP Pacific in Onihanga. Yeah. Uh, what's going on here? Like, What is being made at this location? Yeah, no, welcome, welcome um, to our site. So basically we um, are making uh, steel lighting columns. Um, we take the steel uh, from New Zealand Steel, um, form it and then protect it with uh, hot dip galvanising. Um, and then form lighting columns which we then sell to electrical contractors to install around the country. So these are your the street lighting that almost every Kiwi will be familiar with because they're on almost every road as soon as you leave your house. Almost. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Those big 12, 16 meter lighting columns with the curved outreaches normally with the light um, fitting on the end of them. And that's all made here on this side? Yes. What's the, the hard part with making street lighting? Um, so the, the material sometimes gives us a few challenges, um, but luckily our guys are very experienced and have been doing this for, for many, many years, and so know how to cope with um, any, any slight anomalies in the material. Um, and then really it's just, sometimes it's keeping up with demand. Um, it's a manual process, so um, we, we can only do so many, but um, when it's a real boom market, um, we, we enjoy the challenge. And we're at the start of 2021 now. What is the market looking like for, I guess, I'd say lighting poles, but what we're really talking about here is, uh, is it new Infra roading? Yeah, infrastructure. infrastructure. Yeah, yeah. So obviously with the last uh, year that we've all been through, it's been, been a few challenges. Um, Shovel-ready projects haven't really kicked off yet. Um, there's a great pipeline of work over the next 10 years that, that we're all really excited about. Here and now, it's still a bit quiet, um, but we're hearing more and more rumours um, that, that some of the big projects are about to kick off um, and a lot of maintenance work um, around the councils um, is about to happen as well. And the, the actual manufacturing of these lighting poles, they're, they're, really they can be used for other things apart from affixing lighting, can't they? Yeah, absolutely. So um, uh, flagpoles, um, CCTV camera masts. Um, we do quite a lot if you go through the centre of Auckland. Um, there are different uses, uh, different bits of equipment attached to the, to the lighting columns um, as you go through the city. On the, the telecommunication side of things, you were you are saying earlier that there is a, a rollout that you, you're part of. Uh, what's that going to enable? Yeah, so that's the Rural Connectivity Group, RCG, um, who are doing a, an amazing job rolling out the 4G network around the rural areas of New Zealand. Um, they're over halfway in their project, and CSP is lucky to be one of the manufacturers making the very large telecommunication towers. So these are telecommunication masts for the 4G rollout into the rural areas of New Zealand run by Rural Connectivity Group. This particular pole is a 25 metre monopole which will be going off to site shortly to be installed and deliver the 4G network to the people in that area. So we've been doing that for a couple of years now um, and supplying through down to the deep, deep South Island, um, recently over to the Chatham Islands um, and, and everywhere in between. And it's not probably something you, know, you think about that often. You might think about your mobile phone, your reception. You might think about, well, where could the tower be and how do I get closer to it? But I, I'd say not too many Kiwis are thinking about who's putting these towers up and who's actually manufacturing them to start with. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So the, there's a couple of us in New Zealand making these um, for the project, which is great to be part of. Um, and then obviously the, um, RCG employ the likes of Downers and, and Broad Spectrum to do installation on the site. What's your background or career been like in the run-up to 
working for uh, Fletcher's within CSP. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I've been in New Zealand for 15, 16 years now. Um, and on day two arriving into New Zealand, I interviewed with Hume's Pipelines, which was part of Fletcher's. Um, got that job, luckily. Um, so I've been at Fletcher's for 16 years now. Um, the last seven with uh, Fletcher Steel um, and had, had about five years of running the marketing department for Fletcher Steel and then moved to, to run CSP. And sometimes in that process there, there might be a pair of eyes that looks at it and compares one left to right and just looks down the, the column on the right at the, the numbers. What are the things outside of the numbers that being based in New Zealand uh, gives not just you as an advantage, but the people you're supplying and manufacturing for. Well, a great example just at the minute is the delays on, on shipping from um, around the world. Um, so whereas um, somebody importing a lighting column is, is behold to the shipping lines to, for when they'll, they can get delivery, um, we're, we're here, we're ready to make, we have a stock on hand. If, if it's a bespoke custom item, then we can do that quickly with a fast turnaround. Um, yeah, there's no need, need to wait for manufacturer overseas and then the shipping problems um, and then the ports. Um, we can do it quickly and get it out to you um, when you need it. Is the, I mean, that's great to hear because I, I've had phone calls from people frustrated with shipping, particularly in the, the run up to Christmas and, and even post Christmas, there's still a backlog. Um, what are the types of things that you can do for uh, um, manufacturing that is custom or is it just a, a core set of products that you offer? No, so our, our engineers have a great um, set of knowledge and experience on, on custom products that they, they've designed, um, done the testing on and delivered. Um, so yeah, we, we, we can pretty much do anything um, in terms of a, a, a column um, with whatever attachments are needed, any features that are needed, um, we can usually, usually help. Okay, so if I came to you and said, look, I like the look of the, the columns, these Oclite columns that you make, they looks like they're standard between three and 13 meters. I actually want one that's 18 meters with floodlights. You'll, you'll bid on that? Yeah, absolutely. We can get a, um, a drawing to you quickly um, with some design um, parameters um, and a, a cost um, against that pretty quickly. Isn't that great? That's the benefit I think of New Zealand manufacturing is you can do those custom things that maybe don't have the scale and you can get it out to site in a, in a faster more reliable fashion because we don't have as many links internationally for things to get held up or for things to go wrong on site and then you've got another six or eight week lead time. And then once it's here of course if something does go wrong and things do go wrong we're, we're all um, honest around that um, then we're here to support uh, and rectify it when it's needed but we're here in the country and can do that quickly. Look, thank you very much for being on the Kiwi Original Show and for showing us around uh, your plant here and what you make and uh, thank you for making our, our roading look good right it's the finishing touches it's those little things that actually make our built environment look good and I think that's that's an important thing. Um, and for those councils that are going through those upgrade processes, uh, it would pay to choose someone that's New Zealand based and know you guys are here, and so that should be a, a good preferential choice for the jobs you're creating as well. Yep, agreed. Thanks for your time today. Brilliant, thank you. Thank you for watching this episode of A Kiwi Original. If you like what you saw, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get other episodes just like this one in your inbox. Make sure you hit the bell too for notifications and you'll be served up uniquely Kiwi stories like this one contributing to New Zealand's future.